We're going to go to my next guest and good golly, she is a Canadian girl living the dream in Southern California. And Dr. Deirdre Gormley, doc, her, she goes by Dr. D. She's the CEO and founder of Dr. D Cosmetics and Rad2 Innovation. So tell me about making cosmetics. Thanks, Clint. I uh, want to tell you a story about one day I walk in the lab and I have 12 lab coats staring at me. I look at this guy, Juan, who's been formulating for like 35 years. I look at his book and he has 57 ingredients in his formula. I look at Juan and I say, Juan, why do you have 57 ingredients in your formula? And he said, well, I'm making a skin cream and I've been working on it. And it didn't, it wasn't quite stable after I added these ingredients the customer wanted. And it didn't smell very good. And it had um, kind of a funny smell. So I added some stuff for that. And, you know, now I have 57 ingredients. And I said, Juan, would you give this to your daughter, to your granddaughter, or to your wife? And he looked at me and he laughed. He said, no. And I ripped the page out of his lab book. I threw it on the floor and I said, start again. This isn't how we formulate. This isn't how we make cosmetics. Everybody's staring at me. And I, I sat there and I thought back, why do I make cosmetics? I thought back to when I was 13 years old. I had red bumps all over my face. I had dandruff on the shoulders of my shirt. And I was a, you know, awkward teeny teenager. I didn't know anything about cosmetics. I didn't know about moisturizers or anything like that. I went to my grandpa, who was a very well-respected doctor, and he gave me this shampoo for my hair. It says coal tar shampoo. Do you know what that smells like? Tar? Tar. <laughs> my mom takes me to the dermatologist, and she gets me this cream. I remember it was a metal tube with a white cream inside. She buys me, buys me this cream. I put it on morning and night for these little red bumps on my face. And you know what it does to my skin? It peels layers off my skin. I have white flaky skin. And you know what's underneath the white flaky skin? Little red bumps. Uh -huh. They're not gone. So I, I am lucky enough to go to school for many years, get a bachelor's in chemistry, a PhD in material science. And yeah, I can work as a quantum physicist, a quantum chemist. I can work in all sorts of jobs. I can work in the semiconductor industry. But do you know where I got hired? Dial soap. Aren't you glad you use dial? I am. <laughs> I started making soap in my beaker, and I absolutely love it. You can make anything in your beaker. That's what I heard you say. I can. I started a lab in my garage, and the first two products that I created, one was a silver spray. Silver is the most powerful antimicrobial and it helps the skin heal. So I, I created a, a mist for skin to help teenagers, help people with wounds and things like that heal their skin. I also created a hair and scalp serum which moisturizes the scalp. And guess what it doesn't smell like? Tar? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> it does not smell like tar. I am just so lucky to be able to do what I do uh, during COVID. Everybody needed a hand sanitizer. What does sanitizer do to your hands? Makes them smell like tar? No. It dries them out, silly. Oh, okay. <laughs> Every hand sanitizer you use dries, dries out your hands. And people use it because, you know, they have to. Um, but I made a hand sanitizer that moisturizes your hands. It makes your hands feel great. And you know what? People love my hand sanitizer. I happen to know it's true. We have a whole case of it <laughs> at, my, at my Acapulco Villa. We had the pleasure of having you as a guest down in Acapulco. And did you have fun in Acapulco? It was wonderful. And I got to, actually, somebody was there who used my hand sanitizer, who wouldn't use any hand sanitizer out there because her hands became red and swollen. She used it, gave me this amazing testimonial, and said, now it's the only one she'll use. Who loves hand sanitizer? People that use mine love it. Tell people how they can find out more about Dr. D Cosmetics. You can buy my products on drdcosmetics.com. And I also am a manufacturer and a formulator at rad2innovation.com. Way to go, baby. Thank you so much for being my guest here on The Greatest Show of All Time. Thanks, Clint.